Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs and today is day nine of my 12 days of Christmas projects and I am using the Joyful Flurry stamp set and coordinating dies. Now, unfortunately, the dies sold out before we got here today, but the stamp set is still available and it is gorgeous. Um, the the dies, really the only dies that I'm using are the label and the snowflake. You can easily substitute those out or even leave off the snowflake and just stamp the snowflake on that circle. All right, let's start with this beautiful background. We're gonna use lots of ink and our blending brushes. I have a piece of balmy blue um, that is four by five and a fourth. And the first thing I'm gonna do is stamp a bunch of the snowflakes in Versamark and then emboss them with clear embossing powder. The reason I am using Balmy Blue is so that our snowflakes will be blue. All right, so I just went over it with the um, embossing buddy that's gonna release any static that might have collected on our um, page so that it'll release any of those little uh, granules of the embossing powder. All right, I'm gonna start with my largest snowflake and I'll do one there and one there and then we'll get the clear. I like to put the embossing powder on as I go so that I can see where things are so I know where to stamp. Um, my other images. I know that you on the video probably aren't gonna be able to see it, but um, once I put that embossing powder on there, I can see those snowflakes much better. All right, so now I'll take another of the, the more large, if you will, snowflakes, and we'll do two of those. And once again, whoops, I didn't put my tray underneath. There we go, all right. Now we'll do, we've got another one that's kind of the same size, we'll do that. I like to have them kind of off the page, like that. Let's bring that tray back over here. And then we have enough room for the littlest snowflake. And so we'll just stamp that, kind of filling in those spots. This uh, technique that we're doing is called emboss resist. Um, the, that means that everywhere that we emboss, it's going to resist the ink that we rub onto the cardstock with our blending brushes. All right, one last time. And let's see how we did. I think we've got it all covered. Make sure your, um, your embossing accessory kit will come with a, a paintbrush that will help you get any of the embossing powder away from the places that you don't want in case they stuck. All right, now I'm gonna hit it with a heat tool until it's all shiny clear. All right, once your images are embossed, you're ready to do the inking. I'm gonna brush this paper off, get all the embossing powder off of there. All right, now we're gonna start with, let's see, I think we'll start with Pacific Point. We'll, we'll start with our blues and then go to our purples. All right, so I've got several blending brushes here and I'm just gonna start rubbing the ink, and I'm gonna kind of go from the outsides to the inside, okay? And these colors all together are gonna give us a beautiful night sky looking image. Okay, now let's do some Highland Heather. Your arm is gonna get a good workout when you do this. I always have to kind of take a break because my arm, maybe I, it's because I push so hard down onto the paper. 
Okay, so you can kind of see we've got blue and purple in there. Now I'm gonna take Gorgeous Grape, and Gorgeous Grape is a much darker purple. So I'm gonna kind of rub off over here and then not push so hard when I bring it around the edges. And really there's no right or wrong way. Boy, whew, I need another arm to do this. I can't do it with my left arm. <laughs> I'm not coordinated enough. I'm gonna come back with the one that has um, some blue and some purple, the Highland Heather, blend that all together nicely. And then last but not least, I'm gonna take Knight of Navy and make those edges, I want them pretty dark. So we've got a mixture of blues and purples. All right, I'm gonna come back one more time with my Highland Heather. Let's see this one. And I'm just gonna kind of blend, since this is a lighter color, it's gonna help me just blend all those colors together. Whoops, I just got my finger in there. Okay, I think we've done enough. My arm is screaming, saying, please stop. We don't like to work out. Now take a paper towel and rub real good and it'll bring out the blue in your snowflakes. Gorgeous, right? Okay, now we're not done. We're gonna take a water painter and some water and we're just gonna, you can flick like this and then get little dots like this, okay? And you just kinda wanna flick, leave it for maybe, I don't know, 10 seconds. And then when you do a paper towel, you're gonna get more of these little speckles, all right? I like the little ones. So you can just kind of do that and it will remove, basically, that color give you some splatters. Okay, now we're not done yet. I'm gonna take my craft white and just put a tiny bit right there. Get some water. And you want it to be pretty liquidy. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing. Just splatter on some snow or stars or whatever okay all right clean your brush really good and last but not least we are going to take wink of stella and do the same thing now my wink of stella is getting kind of low i don't have a whole lot in it but i'm gonna see how i un i uncapped it and just put a little bit there you know, let's see if we can get a little bit more because I think I need a little bit more. I'm almost out. Now that may be it. Okay. Now I'm going to take just a little bit of water and do the same thing. Now, if I had a lot of Wink of Stella on here, you would be able to see it much better. You can also flick like this inside the lid. Okay. And that's going to give us some shimmer dots. All right. Now you've done all kinds of work to this piece to make it nice and beautiful, which it really is, it's stunning. So we're gonna let it sit aside for a while to dry. And while we do that, we'll do our other stamping. There's not much more to do on this card. You've done all the hard work. You just are gonna stamp that sentiment in, um, what did we do? We did, it looks like Highland Heather. And I'm just gonna do Let It Snow right here in the middle of a basic white piece of cardstock. And we'll cut it out with a label die, the smaller stitched label in the set. Run it through. And there we have it. Now the other thing that we're gonna do is cut out that little snowflake from here. Now again, as I mentioned, the dies are sold out, but 
you know, use um, the, you can use a stamp to achieve the same look if you don't have the dies. These dies are really interesting. They don't really, not all of them cut out the complete shape of the snowflake. You'll see what I mean here. See how it, it just kind of gives us the little images. And you can take your, your, take your pick tool, your scissors, and push them all out. When I first started playing with these dies, I was a little bit confused. And then I realized, all right, I see what's happening here. Isn't that neat? All right, let's put this card together. Bring back your, your beautiful background piece. And I've got a piece of, um, this is Orchid Oasis metallic ribbon. And we're going to tie a bow about halfway down. All right. Let's see if I can get that. There we go. Okay, you can, if you put your finger right there in the middle of that knot, you can uh, adjust your bow like that. And now you need some dimensionals. And we're gonna put this on either side. Actually, let's just do one in the middle because we don't want it to be shown through. You can just, that tape, that ribbon is so light. You can put that dimensional right on top of it. And then we've got our other piece and we'll put that right in the middle. And then all you need is a Highland Heather card base and you are done. I'm gonna put four dimensionals here on the front and set that down right there. Now, one other thing I like to do is to take my stamps and stamp a few of the, the snowflakes kind of carrying over onto the inside like that. All right, there you have it. I hope you like this project. There is another um, Joyful Flurry project on my blog today. Make sure you follow the link here on YouTube to go back to my blog. Um, the supply list and the measurements will be over there as well. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.